The projection for Missouri in 2022 was six and six, and that's what their regular season record was. Uh, so they were right there uh, at the projection. Again, here is the schedule, and this is the scale that we'll use to do this projection. Uh, if the game is in the white, that's a 50-50 game. Games where I think the spread will be less than a touchdown, less than 20 over 80 games where I think the spread will be uh, 20 or more, 20 to 29, 71 to 80. Those are games where I think the spread will be 10 to 19 points, double digit spreads. And then 30 to 39, 61 to 70. Those are games where I think the spread will be around a touchdown, six, seven, eight, maybe nine points, uh, kind of in that range. So for Missouri, we're going to start with the easy wins. And I think you've got a couple of them, South Dakota and Middle Tennessee. You know, South Dakota is probably closer to 99%. Middle Tennessee is closer to 80%. This is a Middle Tennessee team that went on the road and beat Miami last year. So not, not a cupcake game, not a guaranteed win, but still a game that Missouri has no business losing. If As long as they show up and play their game, they should not have any problems here. And they'll probably be favored by, you know, about 21 points. Um, it could possibly be a game that, that winds up in the blue. Uh, but even if it did, it really doesn't change the projection because the blue and the green games are all counted as wins. So how about uh, games where they'll be a slight favorite? I think against Memphis, they'll be favored by seven or eight points. Uh, Memphis, a pretty good group of five team out of the American Conference. So that's not going to be that's not going to be an easy win for Missouri. But it, it's a game where I think they will be the clear favorites. And so uh, these are really the only three games where I think Missouri is is clearly the favorite. There'll be some other games where maybe they're favored but it'll be by, by not a whole lot. So we'll go to those games now where they'll be underdogs. LSU and Georgia, I think they will be double-digit underdogs in both of these games. LSU figures to be potentially a top-five team this year. Georgia, we know what they're going to be, plus that game is on the road. You know, that one will probably be an 18-point spread. LSU maybe 13 or 14 points. But again, Missouri clearly underdogs and, and pretty big underdogs in both of those games. Uh, some other games where I think they'll be underdogs, but not huge underdogs. We're talking Kansas State, Kentucky, South Carolina, Tennessee. I think they'll be about a touchdown underdog in these four games. I know Kansas State beat them easily last year, but this time it's at Missouri. Uh, Kansas State loses some key guys from last year. So I think that's a that should be a competitive game. I do think Missouri will be an underdog in that game, but not a huge underdog. Kentucky, because it's on the road, I think they'll be an underdog by six or seven there. Uh, South Carolina, Tennessee, both teams that should be better than Missouri. But home field advantage keeps those pretty close for Missouri. If those games are on the road, then they perhaps would be in the orange. But playing at home, again, that gives Missouri a chance. I don't think they'll be a huge underdog against South Carolina and Tennessee. But I do think they will clearly be the underdogs in those games. And again, Memphis, Kansas State, same thing. That leaves Vanderbilt, Florida, and Arkansas. These are all the 50-50 games, in my opinion. We'll start with Vanderbilt. You know, this is a team that, that did improve last year. I would have had this game in the purple if it was at home, but playing on the road, that kind of knocked this one down to a 50-50 game. I do think Missouri will be favored by four or five points in this one. Uh, so I do think they'll be favored, but it's a low enough number that I think we can put this one in this category, call it a 50-50 game. Florida, uh, that's a tough one. I don't know who will be favored in that one. That's pretty much a pick em. I could see it going either way uh, with home field advantage going to Missouri. Perhaps they're favored by a field goal. And I think Missouri probably about a field goal underdog against Arkansas. That game on the road uh, and, and that series, that rivalry, if you want to call it a rivalry, you know, it, it seems like we can never predict what's going to happen. The underdog wins many, many times. You know, last year, Arkansas seemed like they were probably the better team. Missouri went in there and won that one. So, you know, who knows what's going to happen in that one. And so that one definitely, I think, fits the 50-50 category. So three games that really could go either way. If they lose all the games in the orange and in the yellow, you've got to win all these 50-50 games to get to a bowl game. So that's going to be tough. You know, I, I, I think they have a chance to win at least one of these games in the yellow with Kansas State, Kentucky, South Carolina, Tennessee. Maybe they pull off one of those wins. And then maybe two and one in the 50-50 games, that could still get you to a bowl game. So there are different, a couple of different ways you could get there. But when we do the projection, Memphis counted at 65%, games in yellow at 35%, games in white at 50%. And uh, it does go back to that what I just talked about, six and six. That is the projection for Missouri. So the odds would tell us that, you know, uh, Kansas State, Kentucky, South Carolina, Tennessee, out of those three games, yes, they're an underdog. But when you have that many games, those four games, I should say, uh, odds would say that, yeah, they're probably going to win one of those games. You know, they find a way to win one of those. 
And then with Vandy, Florida, Arkansas, maybe they find a way to go two and one in those. So yeah, there are a couple of different ways they could get there, but uh, six and six does seem to be the projection for, for Missouri. Uh, right there, getting to the same spot as last year, getting to a bowl game and having a you know a decent year. Not really you know looking at a team that's going to be much much better than last year, but a team that shouldn't be any worse. So I think Missouri again, this is a pretty fair projection for them to once ago, once again go six and six in 2023.